In this project, we're going to build a ChatGPT-like chatbot, but with a special power to generate image from text. We're going to call this app PicBot to showcase the text-to-image generation capabilities. Let me do a quick demo to showcase what this bot will look like once built. I'm going to start my chat session and prompt it with the following prompt. What are some good financial habits that can help build wealth? So this is just a regular uh, chatbot uh, that uses ChatGPT as a backend. Next, I'm going to give it a prompt to describe this financial habit in details. So describe a picture in details that show a person achieving this wealth through good financial habits. All right, so I'm gonna help visualize this in words. So it's giving me a, a text uh, representation of that visualization. And based on that, I'm going to ask it to generate an image with the above description. All right, so pretty, uh, pretty good. And I can save this image. There are three main steps for this build. The first is to create a large language model chain to call into a text-to-image model. The second is to create a chatbot flow. And the third is to create a custom tool and then connect the chain with the chatbot flow. Let's start with the first step. We'll need to get set up by signing up to an account in replicate.com. This is an excellent service that hosts many different kinds of AI models, including a popular text-to-image model we'll be using called Stable Diffusion. There is a free plan and paid plans. For this project, I've chosen to use the paid one for better access to compute resources. Now, once you've signed up, just create an API token and save that in a safe place. Okay, so let's go ahead and build the large language model chain for the text-to-image uh, flow. All right, so I'm going to go into uh, the large language model here and I'll select replicate. And in this replicate, I'll, I'll point to the replicate.com service and I'm going to go into the service just to uh, do a brief overview of the different types of models there are here. So there's large language models, there's text to image models, and there's a whole uh, wealth of different kinds of models here. Um, so the one we're be using here is uh, by uh, Stability AI, and it's called the uh, Stable Diffusion Model. So mm -hmm. we'll select this, and then put it to here, and then we'll also need to select the version. All right, so we're going to use the latest version of this model. I'll go colon latest version, and I've set up my replicate credentials from uh, from before uh, with uh, create the token. Okay, so I'll set that up. And I'm going to then create uh, a prompt template. And that prompt template is gonna do something very simple. It's simply going to take the prompt from the user input and then send it to the replicate service. All right, so I'll wire this up. Now this is gonna be my chain, my large language model chain, and I'll wire it up like this. Okay, so I'll save this as image gen, All right? And this is the first step. So what this will do is when the user types a prompt for text to image, it's gonna call the replicate service and it's gonna use this model and this version and it's going to generate an output. So the output is going to be the URL of the text image or the uh, text to um, image uh, that it's created. And now I'm going to uh, create another chain that then takes this uh, and then just uh, does some, some formatting. So basically the formatting is uh, turning into something called uh, markdown language. So basically just a fancy way of uh, uh, formatting it so that um, 
uh, the chatbot can can uh, render it properly. So I will do that very simply here by creating this chain. Okay, and in this chain, I'm going to uh, change my prompt. And this prompt is uh, going to be a little bit special. Uh, it's uh, effectively a markdown language prompt. Okay, so this is the prompt I'm going to use. Reply with nothing else but the following. So this is just uh, some syntax that uh, it's called a markdown language that tells um, the, the chatbot to render the URL into an image that the chatbot can display. All right, so text is the URL that's going to be passed in. So I'll create a prompt value here for text. And then I'm going to pass into it the chain from before. I'll add my credentials, open AI, and then I will connect to here. OK, now I'm done with the wiring of this image generation. All right, so I'll just test it and put in full screen mode. I'll say uh, happy dog, I want an image of a happy dog. All right, so it's going to the, rent, the uh, replicate service uh, into the model that we specified, and then it's going to um, now generate the image. Okay, so it looks good. It looks like we have uh, a text to image generator. Now that we've completed the first step, we're going to build steps two and three together. In our chatbot flow, we're going to connect that to a custom tool that calls into the large language model chain that we've built. So let's discuss custom tools. Custom Tools extends the functionality of large language models by allowing it to call out to specialized tools to add to the capabilities of the large language model. For example, adding weather service capability, calculator capabilities, search capabilities, and so on. It uses the large language model's ability to figure out when to use the tool and how to best call it with the right parameters. We'll be using a custom tool for the text-to-image large language model chain that we've built to connect that to our chatbot. We'll use some example uh, boilerplate code to build this custom tool. We'll need to add a tiny bit of code. Most of the code is boilerplate. That is just a common pattern that can be reused. We'll only need to change a couple of lines from the example provided by Flowwise. Specifically, we'll need to add the URL of the text to image chat flow, and then include a body line to send the prompt. So let's go and build this. OK, we're going to start this build by going to the marketplace and use a template. So we're going to use the OpenAI agent template. And we're going to use that. So there's a lot of tools in here that we don't need, so we'll just delete them. We'll connect the credentials. And then we're going to go and create a new tool. So this tool we're going to call text to image. This tool description is a very important field because it tells the large language model when to use it. So we're going to select this uh, phrase here, useful for creating images from text description. And now um, the parameter uh, that we're going to use to pass into um, our uh, chat flow uh, is uh, a prompt. So I'm going to add an item for prompt. And then the type of it is a string. And the description, uh, this is, again, an important field. It tells the large language model uh, what to extract from the, uh, from the chat to uh, fill in as a prompt. So here we're going to say the prompt to use for the image. right? So it's going to know, based on this description, how to extract that information here. Now, the function that we're going to call, we're just going to start with example. So there's a boilerplate example here. And there's just a, a couple of things that we want to add here. Okay, So uh, the URL, this is the URL that uh, we're going to call. So we're going to go back to 
our image gen uh, large language model chain and we're gonna go to this button here and find the URL so this is the uh, location really of this uh, chat flow that uh, calls into my replicate model and I'm gonna paste into here copy here and paste Okay, and then it's going to be a post as the method. And then I just need to have one more thing here, a couple more things here. So I'm going to have the data. So this is uh, what I'm going to pass into it. So from my prompt, uh, this is what the large language model is going to um, pass into this function, so dollar sign prompt, and then I'm going to now pass this data into what I call so a little bit of uh, boilerplate here as well. All right, that's it. So three things: the URL, the data that I'm going to pass. In this case, uh, the, the question to the large language model chat flow for the image generation. And then I'm going to pass into it this prompt that extracts the information from the chat text. And then I'm going to then uh, post that in the body here. All right, so I'm going to add this. All right, and that is my text to image tool. Now I'm going to save this. Let's try it out. I'll open this, open this to a large window, and then I'm going to start with a regular uh, chat session. What are some good habits for financial success? All right, so it gives you some pretty good suggestions here. And then I'm going to uh, ask it uh, to create a detailed description of a picture that represents these habits, just so that it's a little bit easier for uh, for it to generate a good picture. So it's calling the, the custom tool now. And it's uh, it's describing in more detail uh, what what the uh, visualization looks like, and then I'm going to now say generate an image. Of this. Okay. So now when I say this, what uh, what is pretty cool about this is that the large language model will then know, hey, I need to call the tool that matches uh, this, right? And then what is this? Uh, it knows how to summarize all this information and generate a prompt so that it can get passed into uh, the chat flow with the, the text to image chain. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. And then see right right now, it's starting to call the, the custom tool and it's gonna uh, summarize this information and put that into the prompt and then have that prompt call into uh, the replicate mod, all right? So, uh, it's doing that all in the background. And then uh, in a few more seconds. Right. So it's generated an image here, and it's going to describe uh, that uh, this image represents the habits for financial success. And then so we have an image that you can now save. OK, that's it. So. Now you have a end-to-end -to -end tool uh, that incorporates a uh, text-to-image capability within your chatbot.